grand rising it is friday the 25th of june and i want to embark on general cleaning of the compound so i want to go to the garden today and do some weeding so both gardens will do some weeding then we want to cut some grass so i'm just going to show you everything don't worry so it's just the intro um i have been well as you can see my skin is getting better i am saying right now to Rebecca, bro life is good um i feel I, I really just feel so good being here doing this work every single day it's really amazing it's a blessing so come along to the blessing of my day let's change this place up or, or rather watch me change this place up mm -hmm. the audacity of scooby scooby is the dog as end of the new mambu I don't know if I want to collect it now. So my people have come for this idea. So I want to just show you what we're working with. This is Ababa. This is Bosco. Hi Bosco. Nini unataka baba? Nini mbaya? It's going to be a lot of work. A lot of work. Nini unataka shamba ini naka vizuri? Because it's just... Uh, it's, it's just really weedy. It's there. It's a plastic kwa shamba you wonder. Allah. What's going on, you know? So... It will be a long day. I'm gonna sell a mini thing and go have some breakfast. I was cooking myself some oatmeal. So let's, let's go make that. I'm gonna go to the food and eat it. Because you bring people when you eat it, you can eat it. So I really want to learn it. So, e compound. This compound, we want it to look really beautiful. Kama Maria Anaishi Uku. You know, come on up and now and I'm just going to throw my two things <laughs> in the toilet. Nini, what? Nini, bad boy. Nini, what's going sad or something? I don't know. What's wrong? I want to get a farm dog. I want to end a Nile Kashama. Proud of the work that we've been able to do today, so I'm just watering our fruit trees. Those in here, the zoo, otherwise, Kazi in Endelea to the zoo. It's amazing, it's just amazing. Oh, to be in the farm, it's such a cute bird. Upper bird is a limo, um, I'm going to limo and limo all around. So I'm really proud. So by we, I mean me and those guys who got him. I'm a Kazi. Kazi, baby, Kazi. Sun water, baby. 
what's up, that's the vibes. I'm I am tired. So I'm going to cook pepper so that I can cook something for myself and then rest. But I need to still clear it. So yeah, guys. Mm. So this is homemade bread. Very delicious. I just wanna make a nice sauce. Tomato sauce. I love the oats. Nini libak shop for me morning. Look at how cute my nails are. Oh my god. So yeah. So I need to manage it to work a nice space. So then take a shower and probably study a bit and just relax because I am really tired. on my channel you're probably under 30 years old so I just want to talk to you if you're on that age bracket I just think that we take life too seriously I just feel like there's chronic there's a chronic rush to make it there's a chronic rush to not enjoy life to not enjoy the present moment it's hard for you to find time to enjoy the sun like this it's hard for you to find time to just admire someone to admire yourself i guess because we're on the chase and as much as we're trying to find security find basic security there's that car there's that inauthenticity because of comparing your life Comparing your journey, your resources, what you have, what you're doing, what you're seeking to achieve, even that aspect of what is the purpose of my life, and then you fixate it on probably one thing. I want us to talk about how, especially in your 20s, under 30, we've put so much pressure on ourselves as young people. What if we looked at life or planned out our lives in 10 year segment to just throw that burden off of let, let's say one particular decade like by 20s as a queer you know like and also that idea of I guess finding or having one particular purpose I think we have thousands of purposes based on your interests and I guess because um, maybe that one particular purpose that you want to have figured out by fucking 23 will not come will not come through when you're 23 utadu would you now then fall into depression <laughs> what is the meaning of life like ask those questions yes but what is currently happening in your life what are you currently enjoying in your life and it doesn't probably have to bring you as much money like if you're finding some sense of fulfillment in what you're doing that particular purpose that you are aligned to in at that particular time maybe it's it's getting your degree it's um i don't know being a school leader or it's being a mom focus on what's going on in your life now keeping your goals ahead finding ways to achieve them in the now but still don't make it too serious too far-fetched 
So you can't enjoy what's happening in your now moment, in your year, in your month, right now. Like ground yourself. The number of things that we have to accomplish. Yani kuna thirties, kuna forties. I know live in the present moment. Don't look you know, too far ahead. But you'd rather plan your life in ten, ten years segments. Remove all that pressure from your twenties, from your thirties. Just live life, baby. Live life. See, to continue, that's what you do to have fun. No, no going or staying in a place where you're not respected and honored, where you're not growing in any way, where people are mistreating you. I mean, so I mentioned at the beginning, life is tough at times, yes, but remember that is not the end of your life. Whatever you're at right now, this too shall pass. It's, it's not the end of your life. I mean, I, I bless you with 80 years. So imagine in 80 years, all the things you have to do, all the people you have to meet, all the things you have to create, all the purposes you have to journey into to fulfill all the lives that you have to touch, your mission, your vision, the bigger picture, not just here now, get kids by 26. That's, that's what I tell myself. But like in the process of that dream, I still enjoy my now moment. I am growing, I am expanding, I am becoming a master. I am so passionate in health and wellness. In that space, I am learning what I need to learn, what I can learn right here and right now in the farm. I wanna own a farm one day, so I am learning what I need to learn, what I can learn. While well, here in this farm, I am enjoying the life, and I know this is a bit of privilege. Like any, you need to try and find, try and slow down, try and ground yourself in the in the purpose that you're living in right now, and enjoy it, and give thanks for it, and celebrate it, and grow in it. When you have fulfillment, when you have that energy, when you are aligned, how we begin in everyone else around you to 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 be done, to be successful by twenty eight. You will be much more happy. Your dreams will be much more fulfilled. They'll align. Your ideas will be rich and vibrant because they're yours. They're not for everyone else in your environment. Anyway, so I just taken a shower, a bit and lunch. I'm feeling refreshed. I might study a bit. Um, I'm not exactly. I mean, as I'm giving you these speeches. And I think it's something that I have to keep on reminding myself. Don't put so much pressure on yourself in at this young age, even at the, the 40s, the 50s. You can be a dad at 60, you can be a mom at, I don't know what, menopause in Afghanistan at 45. I mean, you have so much ahead of you, and even in this moment, you have so, so, so much, and you're constantly changing, you're constantly evolving. You know the same person you were yesterday. <laughs> so on that beautiful note, I wanna just pass by the farm and just show you, so for, just for record, for the records of what we've done. We had two shambas to do, but we managed to only do one, so we'll do that one tomorrow. So I'll still show you tomorrow. So watch our twenty. Let's. So this is the finished product, but and I'm really happy about it. I'm really, really happy. Although, I think we can drink some of it out. And just become a journey for the fertility of the soil. Otherwise, that's what's up, guys. So I have to shower. I have to shower again. Day two. Put on your coat. So in as a quap of my little image feature. Okay. Hey, my guys. Sato.
watu wa rally wako rada wako rada mimi ninaenda kwa shamba kulima <laughs> um, but now i love silimi <laughs> wamepata um, nyoka no no can't be me and then they killed it and it was a baby snake so now the mother will hunt us <sighs> i'll just show you the before and after kukanyango <laughs> kusikanyangi love and then i'll just show them what to do hey bosco and alianga tu akiniona bosco ni nini pa what i'm literally just so excited to see the aftermath na yote you come and read go to fence ata uko kwa nyasi just flatten it uko juu so hopefully we will do on that today 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 I dropped the tinga today which is something that I always wanted to do so that was really 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 fun seeing home when you can't and bado about the compound bado there's still so much to be done so I'm thinking I'll just do this cleaning the compound in in like series or like part A part 1 part 2 part 3 because it's a lot because bado kuna mandi wakuje tumeroshe but in Matoka it's very 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 nice, very active, very enjoyable. So, so I wanna log off for this video. I don't know when it will be posted because when I should have internet and you know editing I require music just and bundles or data to be able to post it. So I'm just waiting. It will come to you when it decides to come to you. So um, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on part two of cleaning the farm. Bye. <laughs>